Hello everyone. How's everyone doing this week? Today's topic is going to be about how to future-proof yourself and make use of AI to be ready for what's coming next. So you've probably heard the saying before, now you've seen it everywhere. AI won't replace you or your job, but a person using AI will. And this is really the key thing at this stage. We encourage everyone to be very heavily working with AI, whether it's ChatGPT or Gemini or Anthropix, Claude, or any of these other AI tools, or creating images with Midjourney, creating videos uh, with the Runway um, or Google's uh, VO3. Any of these tools, in any capacity that you are working on that is of interest to you, we encourage you to experiment, play around with it, etc. because you got to really get comfortable with them. That's the future. As we move forward, all of us will be supported by AI. And the people that are comfortable in using AI, that are, know how to get the most out of it, are going to be the ones that really become so productive, so successful that they're going to be leaps and bound way ahead of anyone else. So keep that in mind. Don't be afraid of AI. Make use of AI. Be the person that has the best, most effective use of AI for your productivity, for your um, passion projects, for your businesses. And in that, in that way, you can protect yourself and be future ready. So a lot of basically jobs are going to be disrupted. Uh, a lot of jobs are going to be killed. We had one of our sessions uh, previously about jobs that will be killed. And that is because automation, repetitive tasks, all of these things can be done much better through AI. And as such, we need to upgrade our skill set to the next level. In the last session that we talked about, uh, where we talked about these jobs that will be disappearing, we highlighted some of the ones that are most at risk um, things like customer service, IT, even uh, information systems, managing systems, and even learning and development, these kind of functions will be heavily disrupted and basically these jobs will be lost to AI because AI can do it better. And the jobs that have more of this human connection, such as sales, especially when it comes to complicated sales or any other human to human interactions will have much more value and would be much more secure uh, in the future. So keep this in mind. And if you are in these jobs that are getting disrupted quickly, you gotta quickly upskill yourself into these other areas. Take what you have, use AI to support you in moving forward. So that's on an individual level. On a business level, AI enables much faster decision-making. It allows the extreme personalization of communication with customers. So every customer, whether they're, you know, in the example of the learning, if someone is a, a learner as a customer or a student who is considered a customer of a school or university um, uh, or an individual, you know, consumer customer buying products from you, they will be able to get personalized service, personalized learning, personalized content specifically for their interests and their needs. Now, we've seen this over the past years on social media where, you know, we get our personalized feeds, but you can expect this extended to every aspect of your interactions based on your profile, based on your interests, based on what you, where you are, where you want to be, you will get this personalized, uh, you know, service, which wasn't available or wasn't, you know, we weren't able to do it previously. At the same time, when it comes to business, all of these bloated, big software and what we you know, also discussed in a previous webinar about the death of enterprise software, all of that would be replaced by micro platforms. And we discussed this in that previous webinar, so I'm just gonna highlight it a bit here. Moving forward in the future, every system is going to be looking as, you know, in the form of an AI brain an agentic workflow in the form of an AI brain that has access to databases where that store that single point of truth for 
the user engagements and possibly for content or other things. So two sort of buckets of databases that the AI can read into and write to. And you, using these buckets of data, it would be able to personalize the service like we were talking about earlier. And then you can see here on the right side, the platforms that can be easily replicated through this new architecture. And we are even in potential doing some of this today. So it's not like in the future, it's happening now. So you could easily create a very customized support desk with an AI agent that does customer support and sales all in one without the need for expensive software. The AI agent, AI agent will interact with uh, the support desk's light software that has a database of the knowledge base, which is the content in this case, and the user uh, interactions what you know what products they've taken what issues they've ha you know had in the past so that you could then offer them the best kind of service crm and sales similarly you could have voice bot sales agents that are amazing doing first line first level low end sales not the high end complicated sales and interfacing directly with a light crm system where they could store customer information and and have access to the product information to be able to find the best fit for that user so this is how businesses are going to be disrupted now how can you as individuals adapt like we said early on become ai literal use tools every day in every function go back and forth trying out different tools trying to get the most uh, out of it and up lift your skill set to focus on problem solving, creativity, using uh, the tool that you have to take action on those tools. And in doing so, you're going to boost your productivity. You're going to be able to then come up with, you, with your own uh, workflows that make use of AI to be able to give you much more capabilities than what you have today. And this takes practice and time. Some, and you're going to face sometimes the feeling that, oh, it's not working um, or I'm not getting the right results. Don't give up. Keep on trying. Keep in mind, as we've said many times, that AI at the moment is the worst it will ever be. It's only going to get better, cheaper, you know, more, <laughs> more effective. So if you're really training yourself now on how to make use of it, you're going to be future ready, which is the concept of this uh, theme, uh, the theme of this uh, talk. The other very important skill I would encourage you all to build is to become an entrepreneur. Everyone can become an entrepreneur and everyone needs to become an entrepreneur moving forward. You, everyone can become an entrepreneur because you have so much tools and resources available to you that can help you launch anything you're interested in, any kind of business that you think could be interesting to a target audience and you could work on it. Previously, it was more expensive for you to set up your business, uh, to you know get all of the elements going, to you know set up your website, uh, your support pages, your content. All of these used to take so much time as an entrepreneur, then it was expensive. You needed to hire people, etc. But today, every one of you can become an entrepreneur supported by a team of AI agents. So you could launch your, your favorite, you know, niche area that you're really interested in, that you would love to, you know, that's been in your draw on your drawing board or your napkin for so many years, you could bring it to life. And in doing so, what you're going to be doing is building that skill set of problem solving, understanding what are the needs, because as we've said before, the bigger the challenge, the bigger the opportunity. And there's a lot of challenges that are kind of becoming today because of the disruption from AI and you know other things that are happening on the finance side that are also going to be disrupting the world. So there's a lot of disruption, which causes a lot of challenges. But for entrepreneurs, all of these challenges become opportunities. And as such, you will future-proof yourself by being an entrepreneur. The bigger the challenge, the bigger the opportunity. Keep that in mind. Now, how can businesses adapt? The easiest way, and you've, you've attended some of our sessions before, we've talked about this before. The easiest way to get going is to start using AI, chatbots, 
voice bots in your organization. So you could immediately start in minutes launching your bots. They could be uh, a, an extension of your existing website. So there's no need to think everything over or find which content you want to train it on. Just start them off as an extension of what you already have created on your uh, you know, public information, on your website, in your frequently asked questions, in your documentation. So these could e quickly be fed into these bots in minutes and without any coding skills or any technical difficulties, you could launch these bots and embed them on your website and you've started to use and harness AI so that all of your customers or visitors to the website or people that phone your uh, company or phone your call center can now engage with AIs that are all knowing about your business uh, and you can fine tune them and tweak these AIs on a daily basis so that they can be optimized. You could think of them as if they are an extension of your team, but with much more capabilities available to you. Everyone in your organization as a business needs to also be upskilling themselves, learning how to deal with AI, like we talked about in the individual side. So you, could, you should encourage your teams to be out there experimenting, testing, trying different things with AI, because that's going to be an essential ingredient, not just as individuals for us to succeed, but as businesses. The businesses that are not using AI will not survive. There's no way they could survive moving forward. Even if they have a monopoly from the government, whatever, eventually they will be disrupted because AI is just thousandfold increase in productivity and efficiency and effectiveness in personalized service. So every business has to embrace AI. Like we've discussed, if you just go to potential.com, all you need to do is in, in a you know, few minutes without any credit card details, without anything, you could either launch a chatbot or voice bot or both and try them out on your company. Simple to set up, no excuse not to try it. Just go ahead and, and launch it and experiment with it. That's my suggestion to you. The future belongs to those who are fast to adapt. And this is critical in today's AI world. Every week we have a new development coming out of the various companies working on AI. So you got to be quickly adapting because if you don't, it's just it's an, on an exponential curve and it would be extremely hard, if even impossible, to catch up after it really moves on, you know, if you haven't been adapting quickly to what's going on. So the world is changing, you know, right before our eyes and you need to be ready. Take, you know, these suggestions, apply them to yourself as an individual and to your business and be ready for the future. I wish you all the best and I hope that we in potential can help you in that journey. Um, like I said, give it a, give these uh, chatbots and voice bots a try. They're the easiest, fastest way for you to start getting embedded, uh, embedding AI into your business. And on an individual level, any AI tool that comes your way, experiment with it, learn to play with it, just so that you get more and more comfortable and familiar with how to use these tools.